You are listening to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss our RC adventures. Welcome to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss the ups and downs of the new RC Flyer. Join your hosts, Michael and Jay, as they take flight at the park. Now on with the show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Park Fire Podcast. I'm Michael from Arizona. With me always, some good friends. Jay from the hills of Texas. And Shannon G and Mesa AZ. And we are welcoming you to the 20th anniversary of the Arizona Electric Festival. We are uh, out here in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. There is uh, beautiful weather today. Uh, it is day two, but uh, yesterday was a little windy and um, a little kind of rainy at some point. Early, yeah, it rained yeah, early, early on. on. And uh, So we, uh, we did get a little flying in. Uh, we did a uh, couple of different things we'll kind of cover. But uh, for now, uh, why, don't, why don't you take us through a little bit about what's going on and uh, where we are so far. All right. Well, yesterday we kicked it off, and one of the coolest things was we got our local news station, Fox 10, to come out and cover the event. They did some uh, live shots, and Michael was flying the beautiful Cessna 172 you see out there on the flight line. And uh, with another plane flown by Ali Machinci, it was uh, it was amazing, uh, the footage they got. And they took all kinds of footage of other planes flying, and they did it on a couple of the other uh uh, the noon time show and the uh, five o'clock news. So uh, I rec- was able to record them and saw some really cool stuff uh, that I hope brings a lot of people out today. And I've already been getting phone calls, and uh, so it really, it really looked good. So thank you for the amazing you you landing like right at the end of the newscast was yeah, like perfect. It couldn't have gotten any better than that. So yeah, it's uh, it was one of those things. Uh, you know, um, I worked really hard on the the big. Big Mike Cessna, that was where it came yes, from. Did. I inherited that last year. And, uh, you know, I kind of pulled into it, did a lot of work. And, uh, <laughs> the last bit of work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, we were working out right up until yesterday. Uh, and then um, we uh, I needed a maiden in. So yesterday uh, morning, uh, after the winds were kind of dying down a little bit, I took it out. And uh, first time in a long time I've been a little nervous yeah. about flying it because it does have some history. It is an icon here at uh, Arizona Electric Festival. It's won all kinds of awards, and everybody uh, really liked it. So uh, I I was a little nervous, and actually was the maiden flight with the news media. I think. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So, just to add to the stress. Just to add to the stress. <laughs> so the news media channel five is here, and I'm out flying it. And I just I told Jay I was like, man, I don't know about this because I just don't want to wind up on the news with a big. <laughs> You know, smoldering, smoldering pile. pile of <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay, well now that we can see what happens out there, there's actually it was a NASCAR thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. They all come for the crashes. We so. caught the whole thing on know, <laughs> live, right. live on television. Yeah, it was pretty funny. But, uh, and here's but the yeah. pilot, Michael Moon. How know, do you feel right, about this? Right. Exactly. <laughs> 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 so stoked out. So uh, anyway, it was a little nerve wracking, but uh, once the airplane kind of took off, and I did about two circuits around it, it kind of all of that came back, and I think my nerves went away. And, and, uh, yeah, we did uh, a couple of laps, and uh, they were able to get some really good uh, um, footage. And then uh, Ali was flying the big sailplane. 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 Yeah. sailplane. That was kind of funny. Yeah. So, and yeah. you guys end up doing some formation flying. And yes, kind of we did. Spur of the moment. It and was. it looked so good on TV. I am yeah. not Bigger kidding. is better. Because, it is. Because yeah. at, right at first it was like, oh, man, they're, they're really close. Oh, they're not close together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Well, and the funny part is that uh, Ali and I were on so- totally opposite ends of the field. So all of that was, like, unplanned. Yep. But it did work out. Uh, he, you know, he kind of turned in front of me. And, and my airplane and his airplane are big enough that they looked like they were right in formation. Yep. So from the camera angle, it looked really like the two of us were flying side by side. When in reality, we were probably a, I was probably ten feet yeah. behind. Him, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Uh, so it wasn't no danger or anything involved, but it, it did make for uh, very good news yes, coverage. Yes, good television. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, other than that, we uh, we kind of uh, flew pretty much everything in our inventory. The only thing we didn't fly was the A10. The A10. But, uh, we took the Cub out and the L39s and. The news media actually got a bunch of B-roll with uh, all of us flying. Yes, they did. Here, so so. Uh, you actually see the L-39 flying and a couple of the other planes, you know, going through there. So it was, uh, it really turned out uh, spectacular. So we're calling this spectacular Saturday. There you go. All the people coming out from uh, from watching the news. 
Well, not to toot my own horn, but so far I've made it into Jet International Magazine, and I made it on oh, the news. Hey. So you know, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Next year I'll be on the cover of yeah. People, oh, Man the of Man of the Year, <laughs> the Man of the Year, Sexiest Big RC Pilot Alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't know Men about that. Men over thirty-five, yeah, yeah. Over <laughs> <laughs> old man in the sea, something like you that. You know, uh, top uh, top wanted men. You know, whatever <laughs> flying RC planes. That's pretty funny. Well, uh, we are excited. Uh, yesterday, we um, I, I will mention the fact that uh, you've got some really good vendors here and some sponsors. Yes. Really this good. year, our sponsors just really stepped up and, and made this event uh, really special. Uh, you can see some of the banners out there. Zap yeah, and Horizon, yeah. two of our longest serving sponsors in, in different capacities. Uh, Zap's been coming out here, Paul Stenberg, for the whole event, the whole 20 years. Uh, Horizon's been a big part of it, especially the last few years. They've really, really been a, a partner with mm -hmm. us, and we, we have, have featured them in the noon show. Uh, EDF uh, products from uh, Eflux RC, also they've been a huge sponsor over the years. Uh, FMS really also uh, stepped up. Stuck, like, like yeah. I kept getting boxes and boxes yeah. I didn't even know I was getting. Uh, <laughs> so that was even better. But oh, surprise. Right. Box. right, right. Uh, yeah. Castle Creations, RCBattery.com, another big uh, partner the last couple of years uh, the list goes on I'll, I'll, I'll probably at the end of our weekend kind of do a rundown of all who the sponsors were but those are really the, the big big ones that um, uh, have really stepped up and, and been a, and been partners with us and we're you know really excited for the pilot raffle because there's so many things uh, that I can we can provide to the pilots uh, who come out here that uh, it's probably one of the best raffles we've had in, in recent years. I mean, everyone gets something at our raffle. That's kind of like right. the thing I've right. always done. Oh, yeah. Am I always, can I give everybody a new airplane? No. Right. But I've got 11 aircraft. That's amazing. Of, of From the giant, you know, E-Flight T-28. Right. Uh, I've got three yeah. Vipers, 190, wow. 270 millimeter. Got a trainer, uh, P-47. I got F-14. I mean, you can be, you can be you know, Tom Cruise, Pete Maverick, right. at the end right. of the day today, if you want. Uh, some little uh, uh, drone racers, yeah. from Emax, yeah. so, I mean, yeah. and then just all the other stuff we have, Castle Creations and, and all the batteries and all the other fun stuff we've, we've, uh, we've collected. So really excited to share this with the pilots this year. That's very, very cool. Uh, we're excited. Well, I will tell you that uh, Zap uh, actually, you know, they normally give out samples in our always. Uh, our I get my, our my year supply. Glue. Yeah, I do. Pretty <laughs> much coming to this event. Glue. Yes, and uh, I will tell you that they came out with a new product this yes, year. They did mm -hmm. and uh, so I was able to talk to him, and uh, he basically said it's a new uh, CA, and uh, it's a foam safe that requires no accelerator, no kicker. That's pretty. So pretty that's, amazing. Uh, yep. and he said that uh, they used it. Uh, he was telling me a funny story that when they uh, actually tested it and they, they started putting it in the bottles it glued the the top of the bottle shut and they couldn't they couldn't get any of the glue out so he said they had to redesign the cap so the cap now has a pin in it so oh, when wow. you screw okay. the cap That's on it actually noticed, punctures yeah. through and so uh i was like well man they should have been doing that a long time ago because i hate yeah. i hate it when i open my glue and i have to yeah poke it through yeah i think it's there, just so. you know there's something you just kind right, of accept but right, i think for right. that type of glue it just really made more sense right. to actually go through and let's right. put the pin in there mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah but it made sense so i'm excited uh everybody's going to get one of those and uh, it'll be interesting to kind of yeah. go out and see how that works yeah. so yeah. we'll now get back we to everybody shop. you know everyone's got a park flyer podcast decal that's it we do we, we got, got made decals got a, this AF, year aef decals i had yeah. pins made yeah. so yeah. i you know we we we, we we pull out as many stops as I could. You know, yeah. Couldn't Marty give everybody a brand new airplane. But. I'm already wearing my pin. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got my pin here, yep. too. That's we got our new uh, Park Flyer hoodies. So yeah, uh, we, we designed that. These have been uh, really good. Everybody wanted one. Yep. Uh, I had a couple of people go, hey, where do we get those? You know, And I was like, uh, that's yeah. for staff. Yeah, we're the best. <laughs> that's for yeah. staff. Yeah. Well, yeah. I should have, I, you know, we didn't put our names on it, but that, you should have cool, said, get me some coffee or a new Keurig machine. <laughs> Keurig, yeah. That's right. Give me, a, <laughs> well, give me a new Keurig and we'll go talk. <laughs> I'm just honored I get to wear one now. Yes. <laughs> well, we're excited about uh, it. So. As, yeah, as, as much as you cool. guys have been here, and, and for the couple, first yeah. couple of years, you were kind of clandestine. You know, yeah. you were kind of like under the yeah. radar and like, what are you guys doing? You need yeah. to get out here. And, that's true. And now we're, you know, we're buddies. So yeah, I'm that's right. It. I'm so. digging it. So big day today. Um, we've got a noon show going on. Yeah. So for the noon show, we're, it's uh, it's kind of a, the highlight of the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have John Syria with his insanely fast helicopter yeah, that, that uh, really puts on a show. I saw, actually, I saw him at, a, at another hobby store. I was like, are you coming out? He's like, oh, yeah, I'll be there. And then... Uh, what else? Uh, Horizon's going to have some great demos, yeah. as always. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking Critical RC is going to do a demo. They got that new uh, Twin Otter from uh, 
Oh Flex yeah, innovation. Yeah, they and, were and, flying that yesterday. Yeah, that, that thing flies amazing. amazing. Yeah. yeah, it was like those. They were spinning it. Yeah, he just sitting there like single... flat. Oh yeah, it's crazy. It's a flat spin going out to sea. Which is it? Right, right. No, no. And then he would switch directions and go the other way. Which is yeah, was. And it hardly lost any altitude. No, he was. I mean, he was literally holding altitude. It was pretty cool. So. But that was pretty cool. And, uh, uh, we're gonna do, you know, the jet gaggle. Okay. Has made Jesse a warbird gaggle. Yeah. Uh, a UMX, the micro micro planes. If we can get, if we can get enough of them. Um, one thing I tried to get going. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Is um, I had wanted to do a heritage flight where we got planes from all the different generations. But I think what happened, and, and it's just it's just the nature of progress. You right. know, you don't keep all the planes you've had for twenty years. That's true. There's maybe one or two out here. Right. Um, I, I went and tried to dust one off, and I was like, it was going to need a lot more than dusting off to get Well, it that's what mine was. I brought yeah. it, and then I started looking at it, and I'm like, oh, man, yeah. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> so, got more work to do. Yeah, that's so right. I'm, I'm going to kind of yeah. scratch that one off. But yeah. we got enough. We got more than enough uh, demos for that. So I think everyone is going to be really excited. And the cool thing about with our with our noon show is everybody here, you know, has, has got a plane they can fly in the show if they want. Right. right. So I really right. encourage, hey, you know, you got a Warbird? You just got to fly it around a couple laps, you know, in a gaggle. Sure. And, you know, yeah. we're, we're watching everybody. You know, we're not trying to hit, we're not trying to hit anybody. Um, combat, I think we got a few guys doing combat. I have to double check. Yeah. Um, I, it, that's not quite the thing it used to be, but maybe maybe down the road uh, sure. we'll, we'll Get it spark going, that back up. So. Well, I think we got more than enough to, to entertain people for, for a good, you know, 45, 50 minutes. How that's many pilots do you think we're going to get today? Uh, I, I'm anticipating probably another 20 so we'll probably have close to sixty. We're, we're at forty-two yeah, pilots 40. right now, and yeah. and for a Friday, that's 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 actually pretty good. You know, we yeah. get a lot that come out just Saturday, and you know, that's true. So I'm I'm optimistic. Um, it it you know it, this this event ebbs and flows. You know, the weather yesterday obviously was a factor. Yeah, right. Where right. you know, I mean, there was a lot of guys out here. It just didn't seem like it, but they were. And I think today, you know. You know, once the sun, well, the sun's up now, but once, you know, kind of warms up a little bit and people realize, oh, this is a beautiful day. We're going out. Right. You know, right. They'll be out here. So it's it's still early. Yeah. I was talking to these guys yesterday and, and I, I think I mentioned that uh, for me, normally at the Arizona Electric Festival, you were standing in line to go fly. Yeah. Right. I mm-hmm. mean, everybody's like got their planes lined up. Yep. It's going to take you at least five or ten minutes, uh, you know, to get up there and, and get yourself uh, going. But yesterday there were a lot of pilots, but guys that decided that. They were here, registered, but they just weren't going to fly in that wind because, yeah. you know, like I, I went out and spotted for um, uh, a couple guys, and they, you know, they were just like, oh, I have no business being up here because my airplane is so light, and so, yeah. uh, you know, I don't want to wreck it in the wind, so we're just going to watch. And so those of us with bigger airplanes, we, ca- we kind of got out there a couple more yep. times, yep. and there was no line, so it felt like there was a lot less flying, but it was just, it was just there were less... The same amount of flying, just right. less pilots doing right, it. Right, exactly. No, yeah, there was planes <coughs> in the air. You know, there was only a couple times, like, especially, like, lunch, I think there was a, yeah, a little yeah. lull. Because one guy came by, he was a specter. He's like, you guys going to fly today? And I'm like, we're flying all the time. It's just, yeah, it's lunch. It's Everyone's lunch, over the, yeah. the, the hot dog cart. So. Well, and like Barrett, you know, a lot of Barrett's <coughs> airplanes are super light. Yeah. And he yeah. flew a couple, but he was like, oh, yeah. I think he, he landed, put the landing gear on, the landing one. Gear yeah. on right. one because right. the wind just hammered him to the ground. Yeah. And so it's just super light. And there was a bunch of guys down there that had lighter airplanes that yeah. said, yeah, I'm not going to take the risk. I'll just wait till tomorrow. So I think today is going to be uh, a great day, the beautiful weather. Yeah. Oh, we got planes the, in the air right yeah, now. Yeah, we got so. planes going right now. We've got, uh, you know, no wind. You can see the flag is not moving at yeah, all. So it's that's kind of, you know, just a slight breeze. Yeah, and just it's right down the wind, right breeze. away. And, I, uh, and the, it was a little chilly yesterday, too. That yeah, sun went got, behind the, the clouds. And, man, I got like, ooh. It got colder in the afternoon. It did. It I really was did. like yep. putting my jacket back on. So, and I, I know I live up in the north side of town, and, uh, you know, I talked to my wife, and she said it was rainy and hail and pretty cold oh, up yeah. there, too. So, I mean, it is that is wi- Technically, it is, it is winter time. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. But, uh, yeah, if you can uh, see the flight line, this is probably, uh, I will tell you, one of the most uh, photogenic fields. Is that the right word? Yes. Photogenic, photogenic yes. I was most photogenic so. field. I mean, for those of you who have never been to Mesa, Arizona, or, or if you have real flight, uh, from Horizon Hobbies, Real Flight uh, Flight Sim. This field is it yes, in it Real is. Field. It's been on there and since uh, Real Flight, I think, started. 5. Well, yeah. not, not since it started, but like, I think it was version 5. Or version 5. Been in, okay. but yeah, it's available. Yeah, yeah. 
But uh, you can kind of see uh, we have a, a shot, I think, of the mountains back there. And I'll tell you what, when you're flying airplanes and you're coming through there, it makes for great photography. Oh, it makes yeah. for great uh, oh, visuals. The mountains, when they were doing the video yesterday oh, on yeah. Channel 10, you could not tell it was not a real airplane. Really? You, you swore you, that, that was a real airplane flying that is by, awesome. by the mountains. It was spectacular. Well, very, very so. cool. So, Well, we're excited to come to you uh, in this new format. This is kind of new to us. We've mostly just done uh, audio podcasts for the Arizona Electric yeah. Festival. but. We're, uh, we're going to give this a try and, uh, and see if we can uh, get our YouTube listeners out there actually taking part in the Arizona Electric Festival. So uh, we're going to jump out on the flight line. we got some stuff to get ready, and uh, we're going to get uh, you know all of our airplanes up yeah. to, to the speed. i got a lot of stuff to get ready. <laughs> he's got uh, uh, – Shannon's doing double duty today. You're our contest director. Right? Contest so, director still, yeah. So he's still wearing two hats, and he has to, like, you know, take his part uh, – podcast shirt off and then go back out and, you <laughs> know an AEF shirt yeah he's a beautiful like shirt this year yeah he's he's like one of those quick change artists he just yeah. keeps coming around but we are so happy to have him with us this year and uh we are just looking forward to better episodes and and um you know just doing a, a better job at the yep. podcast so yeah Hopefully we have a lot of uh, spectators, and uh, we will probably come back to you for the noontime show. Maybe we can get some footage of that. And, yep, uh, and we'll do definitely do that. And uh, talk to some folks. But uh, for now, uh, we will uh, leave you for the flight or leaving for the flight line there, and we'll uh, we'll be back right after the Hey everybody, welcome back to the Park Flyer Podcast. We are here at the Arizona Electric Festival. We've had a wonderful day. Uh, here at full the day. field, it has been a full day. Uh, we uh, <clears throat> did the noon show and uh, a couple other things, and uh, we'll run through. And I think we're just getting ready for the night fly. And uh, fortunately for us, we um, we had a busy day, so to say the least. Yeah, it, <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, Shannon. I've never seen anybody do quick change artistry as well as you. <laughs> Yeah, it remind me like Cir Cirque du Soleil. You yeah, know, you just kept much. changing. You know, I different Taylor different Swift. I got. Costume changes every That's five it. seconds. That's it. You, you know? kept doing it. So I have to go down below the stage and back up and boom. And, and then you're know, in a different one. one. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, well, to bring you up to speed, we uh, have, let's see, we did the, kind of left you earlier this morning and we uh, we went out and flew. And then uh, we kind of got like immediately into the noon demo. Yeah, so. we had, you know, a regular day full of flying and the noon show came together really, really well. Uh, we had a lot of a lot more participation than we usually do from the spec from the, the from the pilots. Right. Sometimes it's like it's hard getting people to to come out and fly in front of an audience, but mm -hmm. I think because, you know, we, we people knew we had people coming out for the news and and we'll talk about that later. That was that was even better. Uh, and then our our demos from Horizon and Critical RC Flux Innovations, uh, it just really came together. Ran a little longer than I like, but uh, still, it was one of the best ones we've done in, a, in, a, in recent memory. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. That's true. People didn't want to come down, no matter how many times you shouted, RK, go ahead and land planes, <laughs> and they'd yeah. still be out there flying. Okay, you really need to land now. Okay, yeah. get on your butts on the ground. They're still... Yeah, yeah, like an ATC. You know, yeah. Control, you know. <laughs> it was funny, our one Charlie out... says not one five nine. You need to get on the ground now. <laughs> You're cleared to land. Yeah, uh, yeah our one-hour uh, noon demos turned into about an hour oh, and 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah, about get hour 20. down. Yeah, Stop well, flying. <laughs> Yeah. What kind of battery are you have in there? It just ended now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Just now ended. And uh, I and the other thing was different is I I hosted it. Oh, that's true. That's right. Uh, yeah. So usually we have, we had a we have a regular guy that was our announcer for most of our events. Uh, just happened to be moving and he's kind of retiring I think from doing it as much as he used to. Oh. So I was like, okay, well I'm just going to do it because I write the script for it and everything. I'm like I know it by heart. So sure. I just uh, took over and and uh james helped me run the flight line russ helped me run the flight line it was just you know uh, a little herd and cats but it worked out and everyone had a good time we didn't have any crashes no, no there was no. really no no nobody like, usually there's one spectacular crash yeah but there really wasn't any. and there was, there was some close calls according to the pilots oh like, really uh, well like when critical rc was doing their demo with they were like, whoa, well, we almost lost it because they forgot to put the struts on the oh, oh yeah yes yes they did oh, yeah, on the on the uh, yeah. twin so that gotcha. was, that was a, but uh, but yeah, but overall, I just I was so happy for it. It was really exciting. I, I had a I had a ball. You know, now that I love talking about airplanes, obviously I'm here and talking about airplanes all the time now. Right. So. <laughs> what uh, what was your favorite? Oh boy, you know it's tough. Uh, I uh, we'll talk about the awards later. But Allie flying the sailplane. I mean, that, that was, was amazing. That was good. Uh, I loved. Uh, also, amazing. you flying the Cessna. 
Yeah. And we had we did a we did a little contraband drop. People, That's it. People like that. I mean, I thought it was just so cool. And the Heritage flight that came that came together at last minute. That it it was really good too. It was because I mean, what I really wanted I wanted people to bring planes. You know, they've had over the years. Like, well, nobody has a plane from twenty years ago. They do a piece of junk. So uh, I just said, okay, let's get everything that's not in the gaggle. And even if we were, had something somewhere in the gaggle, let's just fly it. And we had a nice variety of aircraft yeah, up there. Did. And uh, it was just beautiful. I, you know, I can't think of a better way to describe it, but uh, I really enjoyed uh, how it came together. Right. And I'm really happy about it. And every, I, oh, that was fun. Yeah, it was a good show. So right. That <clears throat> was good. What was your favorite? Uh, I also have to, I, you know, I hate to, you know, catty corner on the, uh, on the glider, but the glider was my favorite of the whole entire show. It had a presence yeah. that just smacked you in the face. You know, A, mm-hmm. not just because it was big, but it was very big, right? 29 yeah, feet, point yeah, three feet. meters 20. long or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, Tony corrected but, me. <laughs> but uh, just the fact, the way he flew it in such a tight area. Yes, yes. that was amazing. That's what amazed me. Or he dropped it down out of altitude, right? You know, the plane comes speeding down. And then he'd loop it like three times. Yeah. yeah loop, cool. loop, 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 yeah. loop. Yeah. Then he'd do a tight turn, then come back around, and then he'd throw out the spoilers. It'd start whistling, and then it would kind of just settle about the land. He'd touch down, hit the propeller, zing, and then go up to 1,000 right. feet again. Yeah. You know, that, that, that impressed me so much. It was, it was very impressive. So. And John Serio with his heli demos. Yep. He always heli he, uh, he comes out just for that, and I'm like, I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm like, come out and do my demo, and yeah. we'll, we'll take yeah. care of you. He's pretty excited about it, and uh, he usually brings his family, so yeah. he's got his kids and yeah. everybody get to watch him. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. That's, and that's what I love. Like, you know, you bring your family out here and having a good time. That's, that's yeah. what it's all about. Well, uh, my favorite was the Cessna, mainly because I was flying. Really? Yeah. I don't take <laughs> Maybe it. a little biased. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. No. I mean, <laughs> no, it no. was. Uh, no, no, no. No, actually, believe it or not, that's the first. Uh, I was telling uh, one of the other guys that that's the first time we've flown in front of the crowd since uh, the last week. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, Mike, you know, I have to say you kind of deserved it because that plane's been nagging you all week, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, here, here he is like, oh, I just got to make a few repairs, just go over the plane. And then, you know, squirrel, something yeah, comes up, he had to do something else. And then the simple repair or simple little change he's going to make once he's going to make Like, oh, oh, I, this is attached to this, this isn't attached to that. And, oh, my gosh, I have to rebuild this whole you know, cable chain, and then, right. oh, tink, this just snapped off my hand. <laughs> hey, what is this magnet for? Right. This seems like this is an important magnet. Where, right. where yeah. does it go? Right. Why is there a block of wood here? Yeah. yeah. Well, a, and then every time I tried to do something, and then there would be something else that I'd be like, oh, man. So, so. so he called me up two days before I came out, right? Yeah. And he was kind of flustered, you know? So I know, I know this guy for a long time, but he was it was a flustered phone call. And so I'm listening to him, and I'm like, oh, I got to talk about him. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, hey Mike, I'll be out there in two days. You know, yeah, but I gotta get this done, and this thing's just getting worse and worse. Every time I keep, I keep peeling back, you know, the scab, it gets worse and worse. What should I do? And I'm just like, hey man, I'll be there in two days. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll knock it out. You're you're making headway. You're making yeah. it's gonna be okay. Yeah. You know. And then I come out, and then I saw who he was working with. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is you were joking, man. This yeah. <laughs> this is a problem. But hey, it all worked out. It did. It did work out, yeah. you know, and then and then after I could tell definitely at the noon show, I think you definitely got your confidence back after you got you saw yourself on, on Channel 10. Yeah, that's true. And then and then all of a sudden he started smiling more, where he was really serious, you know, when he was flying in the yeah. beginning. And then all of a sudden he started having fun. Yeah, that's well, that yeah. and the fact that, uh, you know, it, the big the big problem for me was a getting it done and B, I knew there was a, a chance that we were going to fight at the noon demo. Yeah. And so I just wanted to, I kind of needed to get everything done so that when the noon demo did come around and we got to fly it for everyone, that it was in good shape yes. and would work. And well, so definitely paid off. So, so I think you. when I, when I finally took off of the noon demo and I thought, okay, you know, it, it's, I'm, I'm home free if I can get it around a couple of times. No, and I got then, around fine. Yeah. And then the drop, that yep. was oh, awesome. Yes, yep. it was. And it was I, I got to give it up to uh, Ali. He came out uh, and asked, uh, I asked him specifically about the, ASX or AS3000, and uh, he's like, oh, yeah, I'll walk you through it. So he walked me through how it worked and kind of set it all up for me, and then it was just amazing. So awesome. rock-solid airplane. Yes. So, um, All right, so uh, after the the uh, Heritage fight, we had a couple other gaggles, I think. Yeah, we had the Warbird gaggle, which was really good, lots <coughs> yeah. of really good Warbirds, uh, and then the Jet gaggle, 
always and the UMX. The UMX, UMX guy. Yeah. You know, we have we struggle with that one sometimes. We, we can't get enough right, guys. We have right. plenty of guys for that. Yeah, uh, they were the ones that w- wouldn't land. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. that's true. Yeah, they were just <laughs> out there Come flying on, around. Land. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't do a combat. I just couldn't get enough guys for combat. But the right. Heritage flight kind of made up for it. Because the Heritage flight, again, didn't exist right. until right. today, literally. Right. Right. I mean, it was in my th- idea, but how it came out couldn't have, couldn't have been any better. That is awesome. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> you know, it is. Uh, we are losing a little daylight because we're getting ready for the night flight, but uh, why don't you run us through the award ceremony? Yes, so I uh, got to do the awards that I, I like to help uh, pass on to, to uh, all, all the uh, attendees. And uh, best flight went to Ali yep. Machinsky mm-hmm. for, this, for, the, uh, for that sailplane because it's just amazing. It There's was no, amazing. There was no equal no. for this weekend. Uh, for the best jets... Uh, there's a lot of the same jets out here. Uh, there was one jet that kind of stood out, and it, it, what stood out more was the pilot was very young. Yes, we, we had, had a lot of couple pilots, kids. So yep. Wyatt, yep. Wyatt Wade, one flying the, uh, I believe the FMS Sukhoi, I forget what the SG, yep. Uh, yep. 27, whatever. But okay. He flew it a couple times, and he flew it really nice, and, and he was over the moon. His, his, his dad, going, oh, he was so excited. He got, he got this. He can't believe it. I'm like, yeah. He deserved it. He really yeah. did. So I like to yeah. encourage people by, hey, you come out here, and you you have a good time and you shut, you know, you stretch your stuff. You're going to sure. do something. Sure. Uh, best uh, prop went to, uh, I'm getting the name right, uh, uh, Chaplin uh, Air, I think is it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, he's a, he actually is a club member, and he also helped in the new show. Oh, good. But he had a he had a beach bearing. It was twin engine. Um, it was an R, but he flew it well, and it just looked good in the air. It know? did look and good. There's so yeah. many of the same planes, and there's people I've given the awards to over and over again. Yeah. And, uh, I, yeah. I kind of want to pass it on. But this contest director's choice, that was really dear to my heart, and that went to Mr. Michael Mullen right here. That's it. For the yeah. Golf Cessna. clap. Yeah. Hey. Uh, no, it should be That's a stadium funny. boom, yeah. boom, clap, boom, boom, <laughs> clap. Was. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, when I come to this, the contest director's choice, it's not just, you know, the airplane. Uh, it's it's the heart in in the hobby and your heart you put into getting that plane ready for this event, I could not give it to anybody else because you, you just you were there. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Home. And, and, you know, Mike was such a big, Michael, he was. Michael Calloway was yeah. such a big part of our, our lives um, with this event. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just, you know, it gives me a little tear. It really does. So. There you go. But you deserved it. Well, I almost missed it because <laughs> I was uh, busy with uh, Mike. Yeah, I was like, you know, over here, Mike, over here. Uh, we, had, we had a great uh, pilot raffle. Yes, and did. sure did. Oh my gosh, we cleaned house as the uh, as yeah, part of our podcast did. guys cleaned house. Yeah. We uh, out of the four of us, we got three airplanes. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I'm the contest director, and but I'm a pilot, and I pay right. my fifty dollars. That's just it. Like everybody just like else. everyone else. We how we do this is we call your pilot number. You come and you draw a chip out of this bucket, and it's totally random. Whatever the prize number is, you uh, you do that, you get it. Uh, and I happened to win one of the big prizes. Yep. And, you, you know. One? I may be feel a little guilty, but at the same time, it's like, I put a lot right. of work into yep. this. I get it, I get yeah. it. I know, I know. My you know. turn, suckers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know no, it's no, like no. that. No, it's not like that. Uh, no, so. no. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we all uh, kind of got uh, got a big uh, 5,000 milliamp battery, and uh, Mike got a little uh, 14. Jay got a, uh, a 90, Viper. 90 yeah, millimeter Viper, Viper yes. and you got I, the T28 Trojan. Yeah. So. Yep. Uh, so yeah, it was a great, uh, great event there, and everybody was excited about that. And um, yeah, it. Uh, so anyway, the reason I almost missed this because I was helping Mike with the F-14. Oh, that's right. So we yeah. were over here charging batteries, and he was asking me about this. I was programming radio for him and for Jay, and I was down here, and all of a sudden it got real quiet, you know. And I could hear Shannon talking, because honestly, I never win any awards, but you know, I could hear Shannon talking, and all of a sudden he's like, "Yeah, the contest director is very dear and near to my heart." And I thought, "Oh, I wonder who got that." <laughs> So I stopped what I was doing, and then I heard him go, my name, you know? And I was like, oh, yeah, luckily I'm only like four steps Step away, away right? So I didn't have to run all the way from the other end of the field. But, uh, no, it was really great. And um, posted it on Facebook, I guess, somebody did. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So immediately, uh, obviously, you know, Facebook is worldwide. So yep. it was not too long before my phone started blowing up with a bunch of congratulations. Oh, yeah, hey, congratulations, awesome. buddy. And I'm like, wow, where did that come from, you know? Wow. So anyway, it was pretty exciting. So, and then uh, yeah, now we're uh, kind of getting ready uh, for the night flight. We got some guys out here that are kind of hanging out. Yeah, we had a nice right. pizza party. Yes, we mm-hmm. did. Uh, everybody kind of it's always a uh, hang out. And, yeah, kind of chat. Know, one of the comments that one of my regular pilots made is, 
this is such a relaxed event. Like, there's no pressure. You can fly. Right. You can chat. You meet people. You learn new things. You make new friends. Right. You know, and when you do fly, it's like, oh, we're, just, we're having a good time. You know, it's not like, oh, yeah, you're going to be playing. Right, right, right. It's right. like, let's, you know, you know, but we have a good time and we're safe. You right. know, we have right. fun. I, and, uh, I was going to say, I think this is the most I've talked to spectators out of a lot. Of, you know, that's true. I. You know, because, I mean, a lot of people were here yes. because of the news yes, event. Right. right. And right. people were walking by and they would shake her hands or. We had 176 and so, and so, cars parked today. Oh, nice. 176? 176. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's pretty double amazing. double what we usually get. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Well, yeah. it was good. The news media ran at, what, three different spots? Uh, actually, it was more. So they did the morning shows that we were live yesterday. Right. They did noon, five, and then they did this morning. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, oh, okay. Because I had a friend, uh, a friend of mine text me this morning. Hey, I saw you on the news this morning, and I didn't know they were going to run. But I guess I because they were getting such good response. Right. They, and, right. And, you know, they just... 30 seconds they could run it. Yeah, so. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I it was just amazing. People were like, oh, either they had questions about, oh, so are you guys doing this event? Or we saw it on TV, or yeah. they were just driving by. And, I mean, but, it, you know, I yeah. mean, there was quite a few people that were walking by, and they just stopped. I, I don't know why they want to stop at this particular area where we were at, but they would just stop and, like, kind of stare. And they oh. get this look on their face like, oh, yeah. I, want, I, I can't <clears throat> cross the invisible yellow line. Defense, yeah. You know? You know, but I have a question, or I'd like to come forward a little bit closer yeah, yeah. or ask a question. I well, I I will th I will say that uh, in my theory on that at this particular moment in time is that when I watched the little segment that uh, they had, well, I can't remember his name. He had it on the cell phone. Uh -huh. I watched it. There were three different segments where we we're, we're the hoodies right. were yep. walking through. Yep. So you could see the Park Fire oh, Podcast hoodies. That's okay, that's why they... So as okay. we, as they were walking down the line, they saw something that you and me and mm -hmm. Mike and everybody had on, and they were like, oh, that guy was on the news, right? Exactly. Not necessarily my face or, right. or talking, right. Right. I didn't but they realized, that. they realized that, oh, yeah. I saw that guy. And so because he was doing a news media, I think that attracted them to okay. down Maybe here that was it. they were there. Maybe so that was what it was. That, that's my theory. I, I can't so. guarantee I, I would say there's definitely some yeah. logic to that. So, so, uh, so yeah, it was uh, it was good for us. And, uh, yeah, it was great, I think, overall. The news media did a great job in, in uh, you know, getting all the phone calls. And we did get a lot of people. I, did, I got a lot of phone calls yeah. in the last two days. I mean, my phone blew yeah. up. You know, hey, is this this event? I'm like, yes, right. it is. Come on out. You know? And and I agree with uh with Jay. I I spent a lot of time this year talking to people on the other side of the fence yes. as opposed to the pilots in here, mm -hmm. yep. and uh, answered a lot of questions. You know, gave out a lot of business cards, and yep. I think people were really interested. And you know, we promoted the club here because uh, several people were like, well, I, if I want to get into this, how do I get into it? So. I have a stack of cards that mm -hmm. you know Matt gave yep. me, and I was like, "Okay, well here you go. Yep. Check the calendar." Yeah, we always encourage. And that. then everybody was like, "Yeah, do they do more events like this out here?" And I'm like, "Yes, they do. Here's a calendar. You know, go yeah. check it out." So it worked out pretty well. So the uh, UFO is getting ready to go up. I uh, know we see that. I don't know if it, uh, you can see it behind us. Yeah, I think it's like right here, but. Some yeah, we do. Hey. Our producers uh, actually they're shining it, shining some light on <laughs> us. So that's pretty funny. Well, uh, we are getting ready to go night fly, and uh, like I said, it uh, it is getting sunset here in Arizona. You can probably see uh, behind us the um, mountains are disappearing. Snow. Well, that and the, you know you got uh, well, you got oh, some guys oh yeah the glow the glow, glow of the night yeah, you can see that that's true too. Uh, and I know that Shannon uh, has got one, and so does Mike. He's got a little uh, little night flyer, so uh, we've got a couple of airplanes that we want to get in the air too, but. Uh, so we're going to leave you for tonight, and uh, we appreciate you joining us uh, here on this beautiful sab sa Saturday. Uh, spectacular and we, Saturday. It was spectacular Saturday, and we are going to uh, probably uh, join you again tomorrow morning for our final segment. We'll close out the show then. We've got uh, a couple guys that we wanted to talk to um, that uh, you know, have come in from town, and they've agreed to kind of chat with us in the morning. Yep. So anyway, from uh, Arizona here in uh, Mesa, or from Mesa here in Arizona, I guess is what I should say, uh, we will sign off and we'll be back right after these messages. You have been listening to the Park Flyer Podcast. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to your next visit. Please give our show a star rating and review, and feel free to email us your questions, topics, or suggestions to parkflyerpodcast at gmail.com.